With this triad exercise, again we're asked to classify the equation as a conditional equation, an identity equation, or a contradiction equation, and then state the solution. And that process again mainly just involves uh, simplifying both sides and trying to solve for the variable. If the variable falls out and we end up with an untrue statement, then it's a contradiction equation and there's no real solution. If the variable falls out and we end up with a true statement, then it's an identity equation and the solution is all real numbers. And if we solve for the variable and it equals some specific number, then that's the solution and it's a conditional e equation. So again, the first step of the process is to simplify both sides. In this case, we will have to distribute into the parentheses on both sides. So 12c plus 5 times 5 plus 5 times 3c, so that's going to be 25 plus 15 c and that's going to equal distributing on the left side 3 times 9 c is 27 c minus 3 times 4 so minus 12 because 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 we'll combine like terms on the left hand side since we have two terms that have the variable c so that would be 27 c plus 25 equals 27 c minus 12 We'll eliminate the variable term by subtracting 27c from both sides. And then we end up with the statement 25 equals negative 12. Well, since 25 does not equal negative 12, we know this is a contradiction equation. And we also know that there is no real solution. Now typically if we solve for a variable we would substitute it back in and check that. Uh, there's really no way to easily check that there's no real solution. Uh, other than if you want to possibly graph each side uh, e equation and see that they don't uh, they don't cross so they don't intersect and so there's no solution or you could substitute random numbers but th that really doesn't tell any th us anything because there are infinitely many numbers uh, the only way to graph if we had 27 C so let's just say y equals 27 C plus 25 and y equals 27 C minus 12. We can see that these are linear equations and we have them in slope intercept form y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. We can see they have the same the same slope so they increase at the the same rate but we can also see that their y intercepts are different. So essentially we'd have and this isn't drawn to scale, this is just for purposes of seeing uh, the lines themselves. y equals 27c plus 25 would be right here if this was c and this was y, or, or we could use x, it doesn't matter as long as we uh, have it as the, the input variable as the horizontal axis. And then the other one would have the same slope, but would cross down here at y equals negative 12, so they're they would represent parallel lines if we graphed each side of the equation separately. So that verifies that this is a contradiction equation and that there is no real solution.